Would you like to celebrate doing the very last transaction of a contract well done? Well, then this video will show you how to record receiving the final retention retainage payment. Hooray! If you have any questions about this topic, you can leave them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to help you. And of course, if you feel the video helped you, I hope you will click like and don't forget to subscribe to get updates on new videos that come out all the time. There are two different ways to record receiving the final job retention or retainage payment. The first method is the most simple one just use the deposit window. Let's imagine we sent the retention report to Kirschbaum's Woodbury job on July 1 of 2018 as a request of payment like we're billing the invoice for the dollar amount of the remaining retainage withheld. And let's say they gave us a direct deposit and we can simply use the deposit window but first, let's take a look at the dollar amount of Kirschbaum's Woodbury job total retention retainage. You're not going to trust them to pay what they say, right? So, we did create the retention report, retention receivable, in the prior uh, video. And when we open it up and you look closely, you can see that it shows all the retention that is owed to you from all of the different clients and only four out of the five invoices that retention was retained from are for the Kirschbaum Woodbury job you can move the mouse here and stretch open the name and see we want to bill only Kirschbaum and we want to bill him only for the ones for his job the Brown Company that someone else's retention we'll get to later. As we learned in a prior video, you could customize this report and filter by name. Push the letter N for name and just do Kirschbaum South uh, Wood, excuse me, Woodbury job. Click OK. And now this would be the report. The report that's filtered specifically for that one job. That would be the report that you would click print and you would send to the client as a formal request for payment and it would show the dates and the invoice numbers and amounts withheld from each invoice so that the client could know the reason why they have to pay the total 5000 Now, if they go to pay the 5000 for retention receivable, what will be the result in the trial balance? Well, retention receivable will decrease by 5000 and cash and bank will increase by 5000 So let's go back for a second. We had a direct deposit of 5000 so cash and bank goes up by 5000 and will become 9700 But we no longer have Kirschbaum's Woodbury job retention receivable. So that would decrease by 5000 and only the Brown Company's 625 receivable would be in that general ledger account that represents what we are owed. Let's take a look at how to record it. Very simple. We click Banking, Make Deposit. Now, all we have to do is choose the correct bank account the money is going into the date which I believe was July 1 of 2018 I hope okay and we did receive from Kirschbaum the Woodbury job okay just click OK but the account the specific account is retention receivable that's really where the money is coming from because he owes us 5000 for all the accumulated retention now when we click save and close it does not show up on the retention receivable report that we just filtered even though we chose the Kirschbaum Woodbury job but if you open the trial balance you can see the results are as exactly as what we expected
the cash in bank increased by 5,000 and the retention receivable decreased by 5,000. And if you open it up, you see that in this report at least, it shows a minus to the overall retention receivable. And this 625 is only brown companies remaining retention receivable.